Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we move on to the final triangle derby match of the night. And it is Oedo ties Momo Watanabe, Natsuka Tora, and Saki Kashima taking on Power Passion Pineapples, Nane Takahashi, Yuna Mizumori, and you. I'm going to let Mel break this one down. I, I don't have a ton of notes on this one because I Me felt that either. it was just a power heavy matchup. Um, it, heavy hitting, absolutely heavy hitting. Yuna and Tora um, having a fantastic start to this match. I am very much so on the Yuna Mizimori train. Um, mm. I absolutely love her. Her match that she had, oh, what was it the last show that we did with her? Suri, her her one on one match with Suri absolutely incredible um really really made mm -hmm. me go wow um i knew she was great with a, a group but i didn't know she was great on her own um no she was in a three-way i thought with suzu or with um suri no, I think it was... no it was it was with koguma and somebody else because koguma was stole her pineapple hat yeah that was another show my guy okay that was i thought that was, <laughs> I'm, I'm that was another show um I'm, I'm not gonna look for it in my notes because i will lose. i think that was the show you did on your own when we oh, that it was, might have been because that was a couple shows ago we did because i missed that show i remember uh, the match that, that just, i missed been. that yeah 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 because it was it was like a one-on-one -on -one match to start was like uh yeah it was waka and uh, and somebody so yeah um yeah, that might have been the one. Yeah, I think you're right. That was the one you made. Well, you should definitely check it out. Oh, I've seen it. it. I just didn't get a chance to review it <laughs> good, personally. Good, good, Yeah. So continuing on here, um, you hitting her role on her own team, Oedo Tai, yeah. managing to um, uh, figure figure things out there and get out of the way. I mean, when you got the combination of Momo Watanabe, Kashimisaki, and Natsuka Tora, I mean – they seem to be very, very good at scouting out the teams that they are about to face. And uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just getting a bunch of private messages and I just saw some funny stuff. Okay, focus, Malball. <laughs> um, you hitting her own role on her own team. Oedo Tai, smart enough to get out of the way. They're very, very smart about um, um, scouting the, the people they're fighting and no learning and figuring out how to reverse all of, of the moves and stuff like that. Um, I didn't write down who I, I'm going to assume it was Saki, but I have Nane um, pinning someone for the win there. Um, I don't know why I didn't have that written down. <laughs> Andre, uh, what do you think? Saki goes for this her little like sneaky roll up thing that she does, her crucifix. Right, right. Roll -up, Nane, yeah. But Nane just is like no and doesn't let her do it and gets her own little sneaky roll up onto Saki mm -hmm. to get the win there. Yeah. Yeah. Which I really like that she didn't let her get her sneaky roll up and, and got one of her own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. How do you feel yeah. about this one, Andre? I, I had a great time watching it. There was a great spot where was it? Oh, Edita had Yuna in the ropes and they had her pulled back, and then like the three members like pose while while like stretching Yuna in the ropes, and the other three members are on the floor and everybody's just posing there. It was absolutely. I thought that was just a funny little spot. Yeah, I mm -hmm. I really like that. Saki trying to lift you was comical and awesome, and then she's like she can't do it, so she just like kicks her in the head, <laughs> and then but she got and then. But then, then Saki goes and runs, and then you just snap power slams her. The mm -hmm. speed on that snap power slam was absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like there's some great stuff here. Um, but yeah, overall amazing match. Not a again, like I said, they're all oh, the the again their Alabama Razor's Edge thing that they do. I, I love it. I, I love that triple team. I, I very much do. Again, it's a great addition to their double, a great addition to that double team Razor's Edge. I just love it every time they do it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm going to give a quick, quick update here on the points. I'm going to highlight this one so you can see it a little better. Um, Red Triangle Division, you got Power Passion Pineapple with six points, uh, Queen's Quest with five points, Club Venus, Cosmic Angels, and Unique Glare with four points each, Bari Bari Bombers with two points, and HMs with zero points and then in the blue triangle division you have oh uh you have sorry you have prominence on top with eight points then you have oedo tie with six then you have Aribono ge with five my hemi with c and rebel enemy with four classmates with two and lollipop still haven't picked up a win they are zero and four 
with zero points. Hmm. <laughs> Must hope that changes. Me too. Because we are going to get into the main event of the evening. This is the 10 person trial match for Julia. Okay, so before we get into this, it's supposed to be a trial match to test this woman. And I get some of these people, I'm like, yeah, that makes so much sense. But why wasn't there Micah? Why wasn't there Suri? Why wasn't there a Tommy Hayashishida? Those are people in a, in three minute trials that would, to me personally, make mm. more sense to be in this than Stardom Super Strong Machine or like. Uh, you know, I'm just I'm going by the person that was or Hina, like, like yes. nothing against Hina, but like a, a Strong Machine in Hina. You am uh, it, it, uh. It's it's. But it's just people that I look at and I'm like, eh? Do they Although, really you know, to Tom Nakano, Natsupoi, Hazuki, and even, I, w- I would even say Kaguma to a degree. That top line there. Well, I'm not saying, like I'm, I, have, I have nothing against uh, a Kaguma being in this. Again, she's like mm-hmm. high profile. She, but mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. and th- again, this is in, but Waka, and uh, I love her, but Saeeda, like she, you know, she she took it to her, but mm-hmm. it, it's when you look at the other names that could have been used in this trial series, you go, okay, I get it, but mm-hmm. I would have loved, I, you know what I mean? Give her the yeah. give her the strongest people in this company. Not saying these other women aren't, but you're trying to test her, and it's just a trial. Give her the mm-hmm. worst of the worst. Give her an Amy Saray, who's this big, huge, imposing person. Put you in there, like it, it's again. I know that the I understand the triangle derby matches are happening, but other matches could have happened. It just you, you yeah. But we want the champion to survive it too. <laughs> I, no, don't get me wrong. But I just it's it's supposed to be the trial. Her going up the best, of the best. It's not mm-hmm. quite in totally the best of the best here. The future best of the best. Future some of the future best of the best. So it starts mm-hmm. out with uh, Stardom Super Strong Machine. Sorry, I'm super strong. She getting the dominance in this one in the in the mm-hmm. first couple of minutes here. Um, mm-hmm. Just shoulder blocks, uh, Boston Crab. Again, it, who was it in the mask? Did you say it was? Saida. Oh, Saida. Yeah. No, Saida is in the ninth match. That doesn't mean she can't be in the first one. She's been in the Rumbles before too, like that. Same with I don't think the one with Saida. She seemed too tall. She was the height no. of Julia. This this my god! You of... can see the purple hair coming out of the mask. I, I missed it then. I'm, I'm guess I'm insane. Whatever. Um, <laughs> I guess you're right. But yeah, um, right at the end. I mean, uh, you think it's someone else? I'm willing to hear the name. I have no idea, but I didn't think it did. Didn't seem Whoa! Like what are you doing, girl? Adjusting. <laughs> it's cold in here. Uh, in the uh, at the end, Storm Strong Machine gets headbutts and a clothesline. The bell goes. And then Stardom Strong Machine hits the suplex after the bell. Kind of like, ah, what the hell? F you. (laughs) So then Koguma is the second person out. Koguma starts to do the dance, but Julia wants nothing to do with it. And Koguma does her pose. Julia literally slaps her hand down. So it's like, no, you're not doing that shit with me. And this, and then Koguma gets her in, drops her holders in the rope, and does the bear thing on Julia's head. And mm. Julia looks like absolutely like incensed by this. Like she's not happy with it. Um, this is where Julia rolls the outside and like grabs the the bell hammer and like is threatening Koguma from the floor. Like she's holding the bell hammer. Like come on, I'll hit you with this. Like or something. Mm. Like she's like. And then Koguma literally grabs her hoodie and leaves. And then Julie has to bring her back, and uh, it's really – I found it very fun, funny mm-hmm. there. Um, that, I said, that's where uh, Koguma got her into the ropes and did the bear pose, and it, and like that's where Julie was just incensed by it. I, I was, mm-hmm. And then uh, Koguma striking Julia – like, bell goes, and just Koguma is still just unloading strikes on Julia. So Julia mm-hmm. hits the – I want to call again. I'm pretty sure this again. It's all going off of the tweet she put out after Stardom Queendom, the Vermilion, mm-hmm. onto uh, Koguma there at the end, um, yeah. and puts her down. And this is where you started to see Julia having to take little rest breaks and get water. I guess she got water after the first one, but you could tell mm-hmm. that after this one, she's like, "Oh, I'm, I'm." She's starting to get a little tired. This is six minutes now that she's mm-hmm. wrestled. 
So Thecla is her next one. Her tag team partner, Thecla, is mm-hmm. number three in this gauntlet. Do, or sorry, do you have anything on the first two? No, no, no. I actually only take like I, I took um um what am I trying to say? Summary notes oh, okay. on, on each person. So oh. <laughs> yeah. So I'm you're good so far. I am good so far, sir. So Thecla is next. Um, this one was mm-hmm. very interesting. They actually shake hands at the start. A lot of mm-hmm. great mat wrestling for the first like minute, yes. minute and a half. I really enjoyed that. And it just, uh, but Sekla getting the advantage in most of it, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, Sekla mm-hmm. getting a beautiful head scissors into a standing rear naked choke. Um, uh, Julia getting the hammerlock northern lights on her, onto Sekla, applying the crossface, but Sekla gets the ropes. Mm-hmm. At the end, Sekla gets an arm bar. Mm-hmm. Uh, so she gets a high cross and then applies the arm bar. But as soon as the bell rings, she lets the arm go. She's mm-hmm. like, "No, I, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna." And then, and then, like, kind of give like a little hug and then rolled out. Mm-hmm. But like, she, unlike the other two who attacked after, that goes like, "No, you're my, you're my, you're my leader. <laughs> I'm not gonna beat you up. I'm gonna let you get, keep, let you go, so you can get onto your next match." Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. the next match is where it's Hina. Now this is again, I think the of the the, the second person I was like, "Oh, okay, this." Okay, this is maybe not the biggest, the, the toughest trial in the world, but Hina mm-hmm. gave her a fight. It, she really mm-hmm. did. She she did fight. Um, but this is where G really, uh, G, Julia really made a comeback. Did I write G for her in, in my notes instead of writing the whole lot of Julia? <laughs> uh, this is where uh, Hina gets a few trip slams on Julia and gets mm-hmm. two, but then Julia comes back, beautiful DDT and a rocket kick, gets a two. Hina goes for a rolling clutch pin, but uh, Julia on Julia, but only gets like where she's like, got her and then they like roll in a circle around or she's like rolling mm-hmm. through it. She did that to her, gets it too. And this is where Julia actually rolls up Hina with an SOS. Like uh, if you think about uh, Kofi King's that's what, an SOS style pin and pins mm-hmm. her actually. So it ends yeah. it before the three minutes are up. So yeah, this one, she got a little bit of extra time, I think, cause she got the pins so you get a little bit extra time before the next person comes out. Mm-hmm. And number five, and do you have anything on those two? Um, I, I, the only thing I noted is after the match, Hina, um, you know, showing a a lack of sportsmanship and uh, getting angry at at Julia for her loss. Yeah. You took your pin, honey. You could have kicked out. Yeah. You, you got pinned. It (laughs) it, it happens. This is a wrestling match. Julia Mm -hmm. wants to get, she's trying to get pins to end these match sooner. So she's in there for less time. She's trying to win. She's not trying to just go through three minutes like you are, or trying to get Mm -hmm. your, you we're trying to pin her. So mm-hmm. I guess he's not in this, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, fi- the, fi- the fifth, the fifth uh, gauntlet is Hazuki. Uh, mm-hmm. Hazuki in just boom, right off the hop, just boots, slams. And then tra- like puts her, slams, hit, like hits a boot, hits a slam, sent on for two, transitions it into the cross phase. Julia gets the ropes and she gets, starts climbing up the ropes and then bang. Hazuki with the boot wash thing, just just wrecking the face, hits the boot and the ropes, mm-hmm. and then they just start straight and strikes. And this is where I think Julia really took a lot of damage mm-hmm. um, against Hazuki with these strikes back and forth. Um, mm-hmm. And this is where like Hazuki dropping dropped Julia in this. Uh, they trade. They both like grab the wrist lock of each other, like like or grab on each other, and then they just start unloading even more on each other. Mm-hmm. And then they exchange suplexes and the bell sounds. Mm-hmm. Like, but just this was, I think, the biggest war that Julia has faced in this so far in these first five. Mm-hmm. Like, what did you I, think of yeah. Azuki here? Like, I thought she was absolutely phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, th- this, this, I agree with you. This was um, Julia's hardest fought match. And this was the beginning of her really starting to be uh, quite winded. Uh, for the rest of this match. That being said, though, I mean, that's Suzuki is what the fifth person in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's you got to give it to her. I mean, she she managed to get through half of her matches with seemingly not a lot of problem. But like this match with Hazuki, this part really did kind of set her up for for the kind of starting to go downfall because like look at who she had to deal with next. Well, and, and the real <laughs> example was like as Cam Nakano comes out. Julia's just like laid out in the ring, just like uh just trying mm-hmm. to recover, just trying to lay there and get some get some air back. And she's just like mm-hmm. laid out. And this Tam gets in and they literally stare each other down for a good like 30 seconds of the start of the match. Like mm-hmm. they just like stared at each other, like killing time. Like 
10 very nice letting her <laughs> letting her rest for yeah, a little bit yeah um and then uh julia offers the hand but tam kicks at julia misses but then hits a kick and gets a super kick off like julia went for a clothesline ducked it and then tam hits a super kick and this is where it just she goes all out. Tam hits a tiger suplex for two. So then Julia gets up after it, hits the backdrop driver suplex for two. Um, Tam then picks up Julia, hits her with her own hammerlock driver. Like, <laughs> but then Ju Julia comes right back, hits Tam with that. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's the brain buster where she's like a brain buster driver. Is it the glorious that, driver? Glorious driver. She hits Tam with the glorious driver, and then they just start exchanging slaps, right? Uh, they and they stand up. They're just slapping each other. Then the bell goes, and they just both just stop. Tam just shakes her hand and leaves. I was like, "Now that's classy, right there." She shook her like just shook mm -hmm. her hand and walked out of the ring. I'm like, I love that she shook her hand after that. I, I was mm -hmm. like, like she wouldn't shake it off the top, but I'm like, I, I like that she just gave her the respect at the end there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have to agree. And that's, that's a show of chan of a captain and captain um, kind of, you know, doing what they need to do to show respect to each other, to teach maybe the younger people around uh, ringside to be doing the same thing. Yeah. And mm -hmm. seventh is Saki. From, uh, and she comes out and they pretty much just started exchanging big boots. This match was all about Saki and her big boot. Just mm -hmm. that's all what this match was. Saki got a sharpshooter at one point. And then right at the end, Saki gets a pump handle bomb for two and then picks her up, hits the brain buster. But just as she's going for the pin, the bell goes. And again, these are all three minute matches. So like mm -hmm. there's a lot packed into these three minutes and it's at like, it's just so action fast paced. Again, mm -hmm. I don't think this was the most compelling one. Cause it was just a lot of boots, the sharpshooter, the pump handled slam bomb mm -hmm. and the brain busters. It wasn't a lot to this one in my opinion. No, but it's set up for the next one. Very much so. And it's mm -hmm. Natsu Poi. Mm -hmm. Nat coming in and immediately goes right to the top, hits the drop kick. It, or no, comes in. No, okay, sorry. She came in. And uh, sorry, this is the one where Julia's it, like leaning on the ropes. She just comes mm -hmm. in, smokes her with a drop kick in the ropes, smokes her with mm -hmm. another drop kick in the ropes, and then um, hits her with a German suplex on the apron. Like, and Julia just crumples to the floor. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, that looked brutal. Mm -hmm. And then Nat go, follows it up, hits the high cross off the top onto Julia on the floor. Um, Nat gets her back in, mounts her, and just slaps the living. God damn it, I keep hitting my mic. This is not You're just good. slapping your mic today. <laughs> she just unloads, just slapping the crap out of Julia, just mm -hmm. wailing on her face. And then they start they start trading forearms. Uh, Julia hits Nat with a big head butt and gets a headlock. Uh, Julia hits a Falcon Arrow driver, but Nat ends up uh, reversing it into her own pin. Nat hits the Ferial Girl splash, but the bell sounds just as he starts to pin her. And then Nat hugs her. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, she's hugging her old, <laughs> she's hugging your old captain. Because she only left mm -hmm. her like six, seven months ago. Was it in July mm -hmm. she left the, the team? Yeah, she so only I, turned her back on Julia. And, but and I just love that she matching. hugged her. And then you have Julia just looking so confused with the hug, like, I don't Bruh. like I don't <laughs> like you anymore. Stop hugging me kind of look. But, she's like, but also a look of you um, can tell that's not true. But also she was but, just confused. no no, but there was also a look of like, oh, I like this at the same time. It was like, she, like <laughs> yeah. there was two feelings in, in one on her face. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then the ninth match, we got Sayanita, baby. My favorite. Um Sayanita mm -hmm. like immediately climbs to the top, hits a shoulder block off the top. Mm -hmm. Like just smart. She's mm -hmm. already like you, you might as well, and then hits exactly. the northern light suplex for two. Sai unloading with her chops, and then the stupid thing she does, she stops and lets and like presents the chest for Julia to chop her. Julia just wails her in the face with a slap. I was like, I was like, you don't let somebody chop you because they're gonna hit you hard. It, it, yeah, what it, has her interactions with you with Ami Sore? 
Yeah, you know, what have you not learned from that, Zaya? I know, and it's just like, girl, come on. And that that's <laughs> face slapped to the face. Um, like Saya dropped. It mm -hmm. was it was like, ooh. Um, Saya ends up putting her up in the corner, they fight a bit, and Saya hits a suplex slam off the top. They go to the apron. Uh, and this is where Julia actually hits the hammerlock northern suplex to Saya Ida on the apron. Mm -hmm. And then they're back in. Saya hits like two big running strikes to Julia, but the bell does sound. And, but mm -hmm. I think Saya in the what she did looked, I thought, really impressive, except for mm -hmm. the like, hey, chop me and get slapped across the face. Just look really dumb in that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe don't offer that to your opponent next time. But yeah, this one went, this one was fun. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought just want to do this drink a lot. Yeah. So the tenth and final person is Waka Skiyama. Uh Waka again followed the perfect example of Saida, came off the top of the drop kick. Like mm -hmm. yeah, just take do the high most high again. She loves her top rope drop kicks uh, as of the night before. We all know that. Um <laughs> Waka then hits the Liv Morgan flatliner out of the ropes um, and then hits the hip attack for two, gets a two. Waka gets like a bat, like the gets on her back with the rear naked choke. But Julia just like eventually kind of realizes like, oh, I can just, and she just does a back pump to break mm -hmm. it. It's like, why doesn't everybody do that when somebody jumps in their back? Just do a I back mean, that's pump. the first thing I think. Yeah. That, <laughs> so, it goes to my back. I'm, I'm going for a back pump. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. Um, to break it and then unload slaps in the and just slaps the crap out of Waka and then mm. smokes her with a knee to the face. It mm. looked like I was like, ooh. Um mm. Waka then gets up and gets a straight jacket slam onto onto Julia for a two, then gets up suplex with the bridge for a two. Mm. Waka then like runs Julia into the corner and tries to get the hanging choke, like where she like like gets the straight jacket hanging choke. Mm -hmm. But uh, Julia ends up turning it around and hits a butterfly suplex. So if you notice, when they got up on the top and she was getting ready for the butterfly suplex, Tam and, like, two other people ran to the corner on the outside just in case, like, if they fell. Like, mm -hmm. I saw them run around to the corner just be, like, there to catch if they fell fell off by accident mm -hmm. or something. I was like, I, I love the awareness from the wrestlers to do that. I was like, oh, yeah, that's, that's yeah. really – again, you'll never see that in, like, New Japan or anything like that. But I really like that because these girls are there kind of, like, for these dives to help protect them so people don't hurt themselves while they dive. And it's like that's mm -hmm. a very smart thing to do, to be there ready to catch if they do have that fall by accident. It, it's it's mm -hmm. very smart. I really like that. But, mm -hmm. yeah, um, she gets a butterfly suplex off the top to, off the top to walk, walk a – and then uh, Julia hits the hammerlock driver, but uh, Waka kicked out at two. Mm -hmm. it's huge. Mm -hmm. So she picks her up, hits Vermilion, but the bell goes before she can pin Waka. Mm -hmm. And it's over. Um, absolutely phenomenal. I thought Waka mm -hmm. looked like Waka looked amazing with Nani, but I think mm -hmm. she looked so good here. Mm -hmm. And she didn't lose. Technically, no. Technically, she got her, no. And like Julia said after, have you asked her, like when she was telling her, giving her props, have you gotten a draw before? Like, at, like ask her, we, we, I know you haven't gotten a win, but she says that she, like, that do not give up because one day you will get a win. Mm -hmm. So she says to her. I can also remember in that little speech that she was um, talking to Waka. Waka is being assisted out of, of the building by Tom. I was about to bring us, yeah. And you know, Julia makes a statement. She thought that she was facing Tam again, as opposed yep. to, to Waka. Yeah, I, that was look, my next note, yeah. <laughs> you know, the looks on both Tom and Waka's face, you know, you could see not only the pride in Waka's face having been complimented so highly, but also the pride in Tam's reaction. Because she's been she's building like, this girl. Like, yeah, yeah. But like, like you could see on camera, you know, Waka looks at Tam like, wow, she just made a comparison of me to you. And what Tam was like, she didn't know the difference between us. Like, it was almost like she was reiterating to Waka that compliment of, yeah, you did something really, really amazing that not a lot of people mm -hmm. would be able to do. And I, I feel that I'm this this added even more to the, the Waka story. I, I'm so fully behind Waka. I don't even care that she hasn't had a win yet. I'm so behind this girl. 
To, but the fact to, is, she got her first draw. That is huge. Yeah. That's a yeah, step 100%. up from losing. Hundred percent. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. 100%. And like I said, I don't think that. I I hope that that doesn't come down to her having to leave the Cosmic Angels because I feel that she is a very good fit um, to the dynamic of the girls. But that being said, if it does come down to that, maybe we can still see her stay in it a little bit with Club Venus. But I thought, but I also saw it myself after the respect Julia just gave her. If she does get booted, is there a chance for Donna Del Mundo? That's the other question because, like, Julia obviously They're has. Afraid. Some, they took Natsu Boy. Yeah, and Julia obviously <laughs> has some respect for mm-hmm. Waka after this match, give, t- giving her the praise that she did. There's some respect there now. So mm-hmm. could she end up there if she gets does get booted from Cosmic Angels? But yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we have been seeing on um, like their Instagram and Twitter. Um, Waka has been seen out quite a bit with Mariah May and Zaya Brookside and Mina Shirakawa um, while they've been touring and everything. I mean, they are, again, a part of Cosmic Angels. So that makes well, sense. Well, Mina is. But, <laughs> yeah. But um, that being said, you know, you know, Waka isn't a part of club venus um she's a part of the cosmic angels but has been hanging out with them so it, it has been fun to to see them you know having fun rubbing buddha's feet and all that um but uh you know it, it does kind of you know put out there you know if things don't work out with cosmic angels waka potentially has a, a place that she could learn and continue to learn from the cosmic angels because i do really think that it is the best place for her yeah I, I do think so. But mm-hmm. we have come to the end of the January 21st Triangle Derby show. So mm-hmm. I want to give a big shout out and thank you to our sponsor down in the right hand corner down there. Mel's going to point at it. Rogue Energy. You can scan the QR code or go to rogueenergy.com. Use promo code OLE pods for 10% off your order. And speaking of OLE, I got to thank our friends over at OLE. I know it's above Mel. I'll get her to point up at that one. Yeah, up there. I <laughs> uh, want to thank our friends over at our local establishment. You can, ch- Ooh, I better put their little banner up. You can oh. check them all out on twitch.tv slash our local establishment, Instagram and TikTok at OLE podcast or at youtube.com slash at our local establishment. Thank you so much for everything, all the partnerships and everything they've done with us. I appreciate that so much. You can find mm-hmm. so much great content over there on OLE every day of the week. Uh, mm-hmm. That's great. But yeah. Almost every day of the week. I think Saturdays is the one only. I think Saturday Saturday is the only day we have a regular product we don't have on, but constantly got something up there. Mm -hmm. And what have you got up up there, Andre? Oh, I'll get to that. I'll get to that in a bit here. But we are. I want to get. I want to thank our good buddy Mike the Ref. Um, for ho- for co-hosting us on his show, uh, you might be watching us over on Backbreaker Video. So up here, Mike the Ref, Backbreaker Video. You can also find him on uh, YouTube.com slash at Backbreaker Gaming also for his gaming stuff. Or you can find him on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. Um, thank him so much for all his support, the support he's given me for many years in all the podcasting endeavors I have tried. This is the most successful one so far because I couldn't have done this without Mel. That's, a, or that's for heckin' sure. But thank you, Mike, for hosting us on your show. And if you're watching us on Backbreaker Video, on Backbreaker uh, Video, check us out over here at Andre and Melbourne Wrestling Talk on YouTube. Because we that's where we hang out. Where, where's we our content is all usually through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we're always posting videos every yeah, it feels like almost every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right now, because of the amount of tournaments, but we guarantee to put stuff out on Wednesdays and Fridays for stardom as well as NJPW Puro Resu Review. Hey, I said it right. You got it. <laughs> I said it right. This is like the Skiyama thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right phonetically. <laughs> oh my goodness. Andre, if we're looking to follow you on social media, where are we gonna find you, my friend? Uh, you can find along the bottom, you can find me on Twitter at that Canada guy, Instagram at that Canada dude. You can find me on our Facebook page, Andre Melbourne Wrestling Talk. And you could and uh this coming February the weekend of uh, third weekend in February, you'll be finding me back live on in on uh, the OLE Twitch page. It's, we're not sure if it's going to be the 18th or the 19th, but one of those two days, myself and Oled will be back with another edition of Marvel Talk, where we'll be breaking down Ant- Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania, the kickoff to Phase Five, yeah, Phase Five of the MCU. So I'm I'm really excited for that. Um, so yeah, check us out over on OLE. And yeah, check us out all there. And then you find if you want to talk to me 
Instagram, Twitter, um, the comments below. Like we appreciate all the comments that you guys leave us, and we really do appreciate it. Uh, comment, please like and like the video, subscribe to the channel. We really do appreciate it. You know it helps helps grow us every time we get a subscriber. We know we got somebody watching us. And we really appreciate all y'all watching it and uh, commenting. And Mel, where can we find you? You can find a Melball on Twitter at Collins Melball. You can find her on Instagram, Facebook, and Mel Mastodon under Melball Collins. You can also find me on Facebook at the same place as Andre at Mel Andre and Melball's Wrestling Talk, and also at Melball Collins. And you can also find me on our local establishment every other Monday, where my show Paramindful, along with Alex and Carl Carafel, is going to be airing, as well as on the Ladies Wrestling Showcase on Astro Pizarro's YouTube. Shout out to the beautiful natural there. Um, doing the, yeah, Ladies Wrestling Showcase, where we talk all things trendy and new and happening within women's professional wrestling. You don't want to miss out on that. <laughs> Andre. My friend, do you have anything else to share with the lovely friends besides your Chop Talk episode that will be coming out with our no, friend well, Andre? No, actually, you'll probably already <laughs> seen our Chop Talk by now because we're actually recording this mm -hmm. before I get to record. That came out this past Monday with our good buddy Andreas, otherwise known at or on YouTube at Humanoid Freak or on Twitter and Instagram at Humanoid Freak. You can check him out there. Um, we did a great, well, well, I guess we haven't, because. but to you, we'll have had a great talk about the Love Love Wrestling Show, Love Wrestling 11, the blue event. So check mm -hmm. that out. Uh, we break that show down. We will have that as a clickable link in our ending here for you. Make it easy peasy, lemon squeezy to get to seeing Andre and Andreas's, the humanoid freaks review there. Of You guys are re uh, reviewing a local wrestling show here, right? Love yeah. Pro Wrestling? Yeah, Love Pro, yeah. Yeah. Well, Andre, if you don't have anything else to deliver to our beautiful viewers here, I am your Melba. That over there is your Andre. We will see you next time. Mwah!